church. This evening, the children's choir present to you, Promise You. It's the annual Cram and Jam at Promise University, and time to study for the big P2F2, P2K exam. For those who are not familiar with this exam, it stands for Precious Promises to Famous Followers of the Past 2,000 Years. DJ Stan the Man provides music for jamming, while student body president Valerie Dictorian leads Cramen as our PU students reveal God's promises to Paul, Martin Luther, Pocahontas, the Wesleys, Harriet Tubman, missionary Gladys Howard, and evangelist Billy Graham. We hope that before the Cram and Jam closes, that you too will realize that God's greatest promise is, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's God's promise for all believers, whether they lived 2,000 years ago or today. So sit back, relax, as we bring you Promise You.
stand, you were really jamming. But the reason we're here is to do some serious cramming for the big P2F2P2K test. P2F2? Clue me in that. That's right, you're new to promise you. PU students, help me explain. I guess 
fancy call him a freshman. Get it, freshman? introduce our next famous follower. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, introducing the All-American Girls Basketball Champ, I promise you, Marvelous Marty! Marty, 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 Marty! The name's Martina, Marty for short, named after one of the biggest dudes in Christian history, Martin Luther. <laughs> We're saved by grace, we live by faith, and we can't be good enough. So Jesus saves, that's the truth, man. Truth, 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 truth. But truth. some guys were messing up the message. Boo. They were saying, you got to be good, or God won't love you. Boo. But that was way wrong, man. Or my name's not Marvelous Marty. Marty, 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 Marty. Said. He wrote the truth and he nailed it to the church door. He nailed it. He nailed it to the door. <laughs> and when it was done, the church was never the same. Because Luther knew the truth and he nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. Martin Luther nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. Martin Luther nailed it. <laughs> like me, he wasn't just cute. Luther knew that truth was truth. Thank you. 
sweet daddy -o. Slap me some skin. And in case you didn't know it, I'm also a poet. So be cool while I rehearse my latest verse about this famous follower. Pocahontas by Juan upon a time. In the days when the tom-toms beat, there lived an Indian princess sweet. She helped the early settlers survive. Her gifts of food kept them alive. John Smith loved her like a sister, but I don't think he ever kissed her. But one day, some white man trapped her, carried her off like kidnapped her. Far from home, a preacher taught her how she could become God's daughter. She married an English gentleman, and later, a son was born to them. For England then, the three set sail, knowing God would never fail. Back home, Pocahontas knew she was never alone. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I settle on the far side of the sea, even then. Principesa? Princess, signora. The 
Jesus. He said, we must take the gospel to the new world. We must send, how do you say, missionaries. Missionaries. See, and that's just how the brothers came to a flower. The brothers? The Wesley brothers. Our next famous follower, John Wesley, the great preacher, and Charles Wesley, the great writer of hymns. Hymns? I'm afraid we don't sing hymns anymore. See, and that's so dreadful because the hymns of good promises set the music to that. You will sing with Dory and me, so let's see, won't you? See! You won't see Dwayne. My show, if you please.
crown of life. Did I read that right? The crown of life is abundant life. That's the reward and the promise. Free. South again. Harriet went south again. She finds 
before we lose the lights. I thought we were running the show. So who's there? Don't you know? That's Barbara Streisander, our most promising student at the Promise You Film School. Okay, people, I just got this fabulous rewrite on the next famous follow-up. You, Yuri the Missionary Woman. You three, you're the soldiers. You there. Me? You were the part of Gladys Aylward. But I'm not an actress. I don't. Now here's your motivation. You want to be a missionary to China, <coughs> but you've made lousy grades. But Barbara, I made the dean's list last semester. It's a movie kit. We'll begin with a missionary woman. Tape is rolling. Action. I'm sorry, Miss Aylward. You failed our test to become a mission missionary. You are physically quite small and have very few skills. Besides, it's 1930 and war is threatening. China is no place for a woman with your limited abilities. I see. Well, if you shall not support me, then I will go to China on my own. But you have no guide, no money, no husband. No, but what little I do have, I give to the Lord. Cut! This part is so you, it's so fresh, it's what the people need to see. All right, for the rest of the backstory. Gladys, the small woman they call you, you go to China where an older missionary teaches you Chinese. But I don't know Chinese. You become responsible for over 100 Chinese orphans. Then your missionary friend dies. That's so sad. That's motivation. Keep it going. It. You bravely decide to stay in China. Then the Japanese army attacks. Miss Elwood, you'll have to leave China. Our armies are close behind. You will not be safe here. But the children, what about the children? You have no children, missionary woman. Yes, you are married to the Lord. Ha 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 ha! Cut! I love the tension. Soldier, next time, be a little scarier. Peach? All right, let's take ten. Ending stand for weeks. Gladys held on to God's promises and led those 100 children over the mountains on foot until she brought them to safety. You've got her promise in your notes. Yeah, right. Let's see. It's Mark 10, 29 and 30. Everyone who has left his home, brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or fields for me will get a hundred times more than you like. You think this is a lesson we're really gonna learn? You give up stuff. We have more in return. It's not just a lesson, it's a promise.
multiply her efforts. I'm into the gym, but there's way too much cramp. Forget this test. My brain needs a rest. I'm sorry, Belle, it's just too tough. I want to keep my scholarship and stay at Brunson, but I can't. I'm not like you. But that's the point, Stan the man. You can't do it, none of us can. See, whether you're talented like Monty, or excited like Dee, creative like Barbara, or colorful like me. We're just like these famous followers. Man, we have to trust Jesus for everything, Stan. Trust me, guys, I'm trying to see. It's just not really clear to me. Val, maybe my video presentation will help him understand. After all, our last famous follower is a good old North Carolina kid, just like me. That's a fabulous idea, Barbara. Stan, his introduction is in your notes. Would you read it, please? For over 70 years, this famous follower has taken the most precious of all promises to the four corners of the world. His ministry has extended from poor people to powerful presidents, and his sermons have been translated into nearly every language. Like the gospel itself, the message of Dr. Billy Graham never changes. All who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. I was born and reared in North Carolina. I was baptized. Then when I was about 12 years of age, after I had memorized the shorter catechism, they took me into the church as a full-pledged member. Now was that a guarantee that Christ was in my heart? No. It's wonderful, and you ought to be a member of the church. But your salvation depends on what Christ did on the cross and your attitude toward the cross. Now I'm asking you tonight to make sure that you know Christ. You say, well, what do I have to do? Three things. First, you must repent of sin. That means you're willing to say to God, I am a sinner and I'm willing to change my way of living. You can't change your way of living, but God will help you to do it. He has to help you repent. Then the second thing is to believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, the scripture says. But that word believe means a great deal more than just believing with your head. You've got to put your full weight on Christ and say, I'm trusting him and him alone for my salvation. And then the third thing, you must be willing to obey him. People today are not just looking for an experience. They're looking for a person who lives it in their daily lives. And that is what we are to do as believers. We are to follow Christ.
can't stand the man. Well, it's really Stanley. How's that for just as I am? Forgive me for being so stuck up. In fact, forgive all my sins. Could you make me new like Paul and give me faith like him? Thanks for that promise and all the rest. Now help me, Lord, for this and every test. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Everywhere there is poetry. Oh, Stanley, I'm going to stop coming up. Mwah, mwah. Yes, it's been very stimulating. Such a beautiful moment. I'm getting all this on film. Well, we're through cramming, my new brother. Thanks to one ball of help.
Way to go, kids. That was awesome. Unbelievable. Be seated just for a minute. And I tell you what, just stand there. Just for, wasn't that unbelievable? My name is Mark Acuff, and I'm the senior pastor at Grace Baptist. And guys, to know what you know, I had to pay a th several thousands of dollars and go to graduate school to know that much uh, church history. I, I wonder if on October the 31st, 1517 when Martin Luther nailed the 95 theses on the door of the church if he ever thought it'd be expressed like this one day he wow he nailed it yeah I tell you we're gonna go visit a Lutheran church as soon as we can But can I just say a word or two? I hope you can tell this is more than a children's choir program. This is a presentation of a life, yeah, a life-changing message. And can I just be direct for just a minute or two and ask, do you have a relationship with God that's based on his promises of love towards you. Unfortunately, we churches have been pretty good at teaching about the duty and the obligation, the rituals. But we have to admit we haven't been that great many times teaching about the love. Do you have that kind of relationship in which you know God's love and presence in your life, that he's with you, that you're not the same as you used to be, uh, that kind of experience? Uh, do you know what it means to have called on the name of Jesus Christ to be your Savior? If, you, if you've never called, have you ever called on him in a personal way like that? If not, probably most of this stuff just went, whew. And our hope and our prayer is that it didn't go, whew but it went right here into your heart. Perhaps raise some questions. Perhaps would start some of you on a search for what they were singing about. Kids, I am so thankful you get to learn these things early. Martin Luther nearly lost his life because of what we celebrate and because of that love of God. Our hope as a church is that people might discover and develop a relationship with God that's real, relevant, and meaningful with his love. If you've never called on Christ as your Lord and yielded your weight, your life to him, as the Billy Graham character said, we want to encourage you to do that. Do whatever you can to find out what that, what that means. Mostly so these kids won't be ahead of us in their spiritual experience, even though they taught us tonight. I want to thank you for touching my heart again and making me feel how privileged it is to know the love of God in Christ. And I t before I close, is it okay if I just say a prayer? We've talked about him. You think we can talk to him? Uh, Stan the man or Stanley talk to him at the end of it. But why don't we talk to him as well? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for the way you've touched this world with your love throughout the 2,000 years. And, and Lord, we imagine that some of these kids that have just sung about your love may one day have books, articles, movies made about their life and impact. But we pray more than that, that all our lives would be changed. And I ask that if there's anybody here that doesn't understand that, that, Lord, that you'll use these kids to get the search going, to get the right questions asked in our lives. We thank you for that love in Christ. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.